Sally are dreaming of a four season retreat where their family can relax and enjoy the great outdoors, no matter what the weather. Oh, wow. Yeah. It's quite I can nice. tell I'm already in love. These city slickers have high hopes for their dream getaway and even higher standards. These countertops are definitely old and the appliances look a little dated. They have a budget and a wish list. Now it's time to find out what's for sale. Sally and Pete need a place where the whole family can kick back and spend some quality time together. This family desperately needs an escape and some time to just be together as a family away from renovations, which is all we do in the city. After living in the midst of major renovations, Sally wants her vacation home to be moved in ready. But Pete thinks he can add value by taking on some DIY projects. He's handy and doesn't mind something that he's gonna have to fix up. Sally, on the other hand, wants something 100% turnkey. Tearing down walls sounds like torture to me. It is going to be a real challenge for me to get these two to come together. Our budget is $750,000 and we are looking for a cottage. Not too far from the city would be ideal just so that we're not commuting really, really far. And for myself, uh, I would want uh, something with uh, beautiful vistas outside. Um, the whole reason you kind of move to a cottage is to have those uh, gorgeous water views. In their budget in this area, it's going to be really hard to find them everything. I really do have my work cut out for me with this one. The first place I'm showing them has ideal waterfront and lots of projects for Pete. It has three bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms, and gorgeous southwest exposure. List price? $699,000. This is gorgeous. This lake is beautiful. This is what we're looking for. That's, uh, you're not gonna beat that. Beautiful redstone lake. Guess what the exposure here is? West? West. So the sun is going to set yeah. right there. So have I won you over with this waterfront? You have absolutely hit all of the asks on our wish list, so good job with that. Great. So let's remember what I say. You can change the cottage, but you can't change the lot. For sure. I want you to have an open mind. Uh-oh. And no, it's not that bad, <laughs> Sally, but... Okay. I want a little bit of work. I'm actually almost worried there's uh, everything done here. I know, but I don't know if Sally really feels the same way. No, so. it feels nice so far, so I hope to keep the feeling this way. Let's go look inside. Okay. Perfect. It's going to be really interesting to see what they think. I think it's got a great layout and it's got really good bones. Cosmetically, I'm not quite sure if they're going to like it. Welcome to the cottage. <gasps> oh, wow. It's a little dated. <laughs> nice vaulted ceilings, though. The outside, absolutely stunning. Walking into this cottage does not meet the same wow factor that I had on the outside at all. It is definitely a little bit more closed off than I like and... What do you mean by closed off? Uh, just not very open concept and a little bit of a small room yeah, for but the family. You get, it feels a little bit bigger with the vaulted ceilings, no? That definitely helps. Yeah. Let's go see the kitchen. So walk that way. Uh, old kitchen. Yeah, but it's not bad. It's clean. It's functional. These countertops are definitely old and the appliances look a little dated. Yeah, I agree, it's dated, but we do a lot of our cooking outside and it's got more functionality than I could ever have really hoped for. It's got a dishwasher and a skylight. It's a lot of natural light. I liked it, I think it would work. These are the types of things that you can easily change though, Absolutely. right? Yeah. So we're not looking for a renovation, we're yes. looking to just... Well, I guess she may not be looking for renovation, but at the same time, Sally, countertops, an undermount sink, and you'd have all the creature comforts of uh, home in the city. Why don't you go across the hall? Okay. Because you're going to find you've got the master bedroom. I really like the uh, stairs on the way in. It gives it a little stairs character. Stairs are the nice carpeted stairs. Yeah, it's carpet, but we'd have to rip the carpet up, and we can right match out. that naughty pine fairly easily as well. We just spent a significant amount of time ripping out carpet in the city. The fact that this cottage has carpet in the master bedroom <laughs> totally throws me off. I do not want to go through ripping out carpets again, and. It's just not something I'm interested in. Carpet it can be easily replaced. Like, give me a break. What about the ceiling? The ceilings have to go, that's for sure. We can paint them out. They don't actually have to go, because I don't mind the shape of it. It adds a little bit of character again, I think. It's a good size room. How big is this for a master? The master you know what? size great. is great. The view is... It's spectacular. Why don't you go um, look behind that door? Okay. Excellent. Okay, I can start with the positive. 
bathroom. This is a great size bathroom. It is quite big, actually. It's just very dated. <laughs> yeah, but a little bit of work is not uh, not out of the realm and doable for the time being. Add it to the list of okay, things so, that we need to do. You know, for a cottage to have a master with an ensuite, mm -hmm. let alone an ensuite with like four pieces, is very very unusual. Understandable. You're you're gonna we're gonna we would have to redo it. There's no doubt about it. But for the time being, I mean, it is completely functional. There's it's not a rush that has to be done before we move in. No, it's not a rush. It's we'll just add it to the list of things that need to get done. I am happy that on suite. I can't complain about that. Good size. No, absolutely. Good. Good. There's a lot more to see. Okay. So let's go. Oh, this is good. Washer and dryer and a little yeah. mudroom area. That's yeah. perfect for the kids. Nice little entryway and a utility oh, yay, room. Oh, yeah, another dated bathroom. Oh, it's not too <laughs> bad at all. No, this is fine. How, how is this dated? It's a toilet, it's a sink, it's not dated. And there's a shower. I mean, you got three pieces here, so it's not bad at all. So, yes, we could live with it for a little bit, but it would be on the list. Good. Okay. Let's go see the kids' bedroom. Okay. Excellent, thank you. A <sighs> little bit small, but... I mean, it's good for a young child. This would be, uh, this is a little bit small. You know, you have young kids right now, so I thought maybe you could get in, you know, kids safe bunk beds in here, and then the kids are right next to you. So, so we're fitting two kids in this room. For now, yeah, but I think the kids would like to be with each other at the cottage for the next few years. Rob is out to lunch thinking that two kids could fit in that room. I can't believe he even suggested that. Now this is a lot of pine. Wow, oh wow. A lot of pine. <laughs> a lot of pine, but it's it's cute. This is the perfect kids playroom. Or you can even put in a TV and make this yeah. like your media room. This is cute, this is very cute. Good? Yeah. So why don't you go and look in these rooms? You're gonna see that oh, there so are much bigger bedrooms up here. Okay, this is, this is cute, this is good. Yeah. This it's is... good that there's another option too for the the kids. So I here. like the idea of the kids having their own oasis, like upstairs and toys away from everything. That's Absolutely. cute. That's good. And there is a small two-piece up here for them. Oh, oh perfect. Hi. Yeah. Wonderful. Okay. So there is a lower level to this cottage, so I think we should go see that. Oh, Rob, you're killing me. What? This is a work in progress. <laughs> oh so it's got new windows. All that you really need to do here is put in a floor. You know, oh we already God. have the subfloor. What? Come on, Pete. Work no, with this No, this space. is absolutely fine. I mean, for a uh, cottage basement, walk out outside, nice view again. Okay, this would have been good if this was the project for the cottage and nothing upstairs required work. It's a basement. Let's just call it that. It's a basement with a walkout, with which a walkout. could have overflow guests stay down here. And a view. But with those views in the areas we've been looking in, I mean, that price was quite reasonable. It's still at the higher end of our budget. It doesn't leave us a ton of room to do a lot of work up front, but at the same time, we didn't need a, a whole lot of work uh, That's at the beginning That's well. concerning for me, though, because I do think there is a lot of work that needs to be done right away. First-time buyers Sally and Pete are looking for a family getaway where they can make some memories. Sally wants a turnkey place, but Pete wants the opportunity to add value and make changes to suit their own taste. So, I'm now going to show them something that is 100% turnkey that they will absolutely love. Next, I'm taking them to a brand new build on Little Kinesis Lake. This property has three bedrooms, two bathrooms, and is move-in ready. Although the lot itself may present some challenges. List price? $729,900. There's always compromises to be made, and it's gonna be really interesting to see if the compromise in this case is gonna be on the cottage or the actual lot. Thank, Thank you. you. Welcome. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> it's quite I can nice. tell I'm already in love. Look at this room. What do you think? Yeah. Look at this kitchen. <laughs> it is all done. So obviously this is a new build. We have a propane stove, stainless steel appliances. It's perfect. We can eat here tomorrow mm -hmm. with the girls. It's not the most cottagey feel to it, but I mean, it's uh, a little bit more on the downtown condominium feel, but it's, it's very nice, obviously. So big on your wish list mm -hmm. was open concept. Yes. Absolutely. Right? So look at this. Yeah, it doesn't get much more open this concept than this. This is a grand room for yes. me, and yeah. it's, I can see everything. Come on. And the views are very, very nice. 
what, what do you think of the finishes overall? I, I, yeah. love, I love the floors, I love the stone, I'm, I'm, there is zero complaints coming out of me in this one so far. And zero work thus far. <laughs> zero work thus far, yeah. yes, but do you know, I do remember that you want projects, so okay. just hold that thought. You ready to see your bedroom? Yes. Would love to. Follow me. Okay. What I like about this place Aww. is that it gives you privacy. Oh. Okay. So we're upstairs? Very nice. So what I thought was amazing about having the master up here is that you're away from the kids and you have your privacy. That's really, really, really nice. And yeah, this, this is, is very nice. Yeah, and what? the view is oh, wow. spectacular. Look at the trees. Look this is very nice. Look what you can wake nice. up to every time we're here. It's literally like we're in a tree house. It is, it's very nice. I don't know what else to say other than I love it. Great, so clearly, you know, a couple doors. So there you can are. probably guess what's behind door number one. Is it on suite closet? Go check it out. Okay. okay. Oh wow. Very nice washroom. Look, and the tub, which yeah. is nice. High-end finishes, I mean, you got granite and the, the nice uh, chrome rollers there on the shower. It's very nice. So this is the type of ensuite you want? Yes. It's very nice. Yeah. What does that mean? It's, it's all very done. nice. I think that Pete doesn't like it because it's finished. It's, it's completely finished. It's There's good. nowhere to add our own uh, our own touches, but it's very nice for you. You can just relax right away. Pete is the type of guy that has very specific tastes, and it's a real challenge to show him something that is just done, especially if it's not the way he would actually do it. Oh wow. Oh, this is a good size room. Yeah, it is. Very good. The kids would be on a different floor than us though, right? Which is kind of nice. <laughs> it is, it adds some privacy, but. Isn't that why they invented baby monitors? Yeah. <laughs> I guess so. This is a good size room. Yeah, it's a lot better than the other place. There's uh, no doubt about it in the way of size. It, exactly, and they have enough space to even grow into a little bit while they're here instead of a tiny room for the two of them. Okay, yes, absolutely. Okay, yeah. This is a very nice bathroom. And what do we have? A tub, a tub. for the girls, yes. Right, yes. Their no, own nice. washroom, their own sinks. So we have another bedroom on this level, which is oh. exactly the same size. Okay. Perfect. So the girls can each have their own bedroom. That's no perfect. arguments between them then. No. Right? But there's another level to this place that I think you need to see, because okay. it's got Pete written all over it. And it's separate from everything? Yes. I love that. <laughs> Follow okay. me. Thanks. I sense a project. Yep. Oh, Peter, you're gonna love this. And I love it because it's <laughs> down here. <laughs> this is perfect. Yeah, this is nice. You can make your own man cave down here. Best of both worlds. Yeah, this is more it than really a cave you can make. Look at the view worlds. still with a walkout even. We're yeah. pretty high up. Where's the water? Right. So the water is there. So there are stairs that go down from the cottage. How many stairs? Um, there's more than a few, but but I know you have young kids, so yep. these are things that you have to take into consideration. Yes. So a lot like this has many benefits. The first one is the amazing view. One of the drawbacks can be the access to the water. We're talking about two very young children. Yes, but there's a solution. Okay. okay. You could, have you ever heard of an inclinator? We actually are seeing a lot more inclinators up here in cottage country. And basically what that is, it's like a little escalator that you sit in and it takes you down to the water very, very slowly. This lot is perfect for it. An inclinator is not for everybody, but it's definitely an option for a property like this when you want easy access to the water. That's a big investment, isn't it? Yeah, any way an inclinator is able to be negotiated into the price? Um, I, everything, everything's negotiable. Okay. While I was initially blown away with the views of this cottage, I love the idea that it kind of feels like we're in a tree house. When we really drill it down to the functionality, um, we really wanted a bit more flat land for the kids. And while Rob did provide a, a solution with the inclinator, I just, I can't see that being safe or something that we would actually do in the long term. The number of stairs down to the lake with two young children, it's just, it's not gonna work out for us. Pete and Sally are looking for their dream lakefront property. The first property I showed them on Redstone Lake had the perfect lot, but the cottage needed a makeover. The second property was Sally's turnkey fantasy, but the lot might have been too steep for these two to handle. Next, I'm taking them back to Redstone Lake. This one is gonna be perfect because it's move-in ready, and Pete can do small projects over time to bring it up to their standards. 
This property has 600 feet of frontage, two sand beaches, and lots of privacy. List price, $699,000. First impressions are actually pretty positive. I really like this lake. It's beautiful that we have um, basically two sandy beaches that the kids can play on. And it doesn't look like a new build either. So I'm hoping that there is a few projects on the inside that, uh, that we can get uh, sink our teeth into and get our hands dirty. But not too many projects. Maybe a few. Oh, this is nice. This is very cute. Oh, wow, look at the views. Oh my goodness. Isn't and on amazing? both sides, lakes on both sides. You have water on both sides because we're actually on a point here. So it almost feels like you're on an island, but you're not. Good sight lines, open concept, yeah. and Pete, look. It's a wood burning stove, it's beautiful. It is a wood burning stove. I did feel it as soon as we walked in though that we're on laminate flooring and I see a couple of finishes that would probably need to be updated, but the open concept far outweighs the finishes for me. The kitchen's not bad, it's okay, but we would have to update it. Yeah, I know you, and that update's gonna come sooner than later. This is how it always starts. <laughs> Check out this three season sun porch. So they have it shut down now for the season. So it is all screened in. You wanna talk about being surrounded by water? Yeah. And come on, Pete, don't you just wanna get in here and make it your own? You know, look at these views. Everywhere you look, there's water. You could do something in and here for sure. And it's really great that this is kind of separate from the rest of the house. Yeah, you're gonna spend so much time out here in the spring, summer, fall, yeah. like. Absolutely. Yeah. You this, know. Is, this is good, this is a good plus. So before we go upstairs, just head to that room right there. Okay. Okay. So there is a bedroom on this main level. It's a little odd to have a bedroom off the side of the kitchen like that. Okay, so you know what? I think you're gonna find that there are plenty of bedrooms upstairs. So the idea I have for this room is you could turn this into a kid's playroom. Yeah. yeah, there's something to be said about a guest room also on a different level than the family. I mean, it's it gives us options, that's for sure. That's true. Let's go check out the upstairs. Oh, it's a huge bathroom right off the side here. That is, uh, that's a lot of space for a bathroom. It's a very big bathroom. It is a very big bathroom, but you know what? Perfect space to put in a bathtub. Yeah. There right? Are yeah, there definitely is room for a couple of bathtubs in here. I can't wait to see what the ensuite looks like. Yeah, let's, let's go check that out. Excellent. I think you're gonna like it. <laughs> Wonderful. I know how important that was to you. Oh, oh, big size room. It's a really good size room. So I think this is a great size for the master bedroom. It is a good size, but oh. I don't see an ensuite. Okay, so that's, I want you to hold that thought and go have a look in the closet okay. because I have an idea. Okay. okay. The bathroom that we were just in shares this wall. So this is going to be your ensuite. Okay. It's so. Uh, Big closet, a very small bedroom, but it would be a good sized bathroom actually for an ensuite. I do like the idea of making an ensuite in the master bedroom, but something for much further down the line. Yeah, we could do it exactly like we would want and have uh, another bathroom up there. We could actually even increase the size of those windows and really let the light pour in on the upstairs as well. Look at this. This is beautiful. So 600 feet of frontage. Wow. wow. Sand beach right there. Mm -hmm. Tons of flat usable space. Great. Look at the privacy out here. It is beautiful. It doesn't get any better than this, guys. So while there is a little bit of work that still needs to be done in this place, compared to property one, there wouldn't have to be structural changes. The walls are already open. The concept is already right. there. We have the sight lines. The views are phenomenal. So making updates to fixtures and stuff in this place over time doesn't fuss me as much as property one did. There's a lot of discussion to have, that's for sure. It's given us a lot to think about. I'm confused now. <laughs> Sally and Peter are looking for a tasteful family getaway. For the most part, they agree on what they want, but Sally is set on a turnkey property, while Pete wants to boost property value with his own upgrades. I've shown them three great options to help them reach a compromise. Now it's time to find out if they can make a decision. So the first property, property number one on Redstone Lake. Loved the outside of that property. Amazing lot. Yes. Great sunset views. Sand Beach. We can't argue anything about the lot. It's no, perfect. Beautiful. Okay, so what about the cottage? Mm, a little bit closed off for me. Uh, a lot of updating required. But still, you know what? I think it has some pretty good potential uh, on the inside. It still gives us that kind of vaulted ceiling in the uh, entryway yeah. room. Um, 
and a lot of projects moving forward in the future to add some value to the property. Right, and it was below our budget at six ninety nine. dollars Yes, that's right. Okay, so um, the second property, we went to Kinesis Lake, little Kinesis actually. Yes. I loved this cottage. It had everything I had wanted, a brand new kitchen. It was very nice. It was completely done, not particularly to my spec exactly, at least for what I would expect out of a cottage, more to what I would see out of a uh, house in the city. Um, but at the same time, there's no mistaking when you look out those windows that you're not in the city. Plus, we had the lower level, which was completely unfinished. Heartbreaking for me was the outside, though. Uh, very, very difficult with children. Fair enough. As I say, you can change the cottage, but you can't change the lot. Yeah, that's true. And I think if you have reservations of the access of property two, we are good to eliminate that. So now we're left with both of the cottages on Redstone, which are both on amazing lots. Yes. Yeah. You know what? I. I'm really torn between these two. They, uh, they both have some advantages uh, and some disadvantages of each other. I'm kind of leaning to property three. It really is the compromise home, the one that we could go to, the cottage we could enjoy right away, and still enough projects and space for you to bring your vision to life. You know, I cannot deny that Property 3 is definitely a very, very special place. I've never really seen a property where I can get water views out of all of my windows. I yeah. mean, that was absolutely tremendous. Checked off all those boxes on that long, long list. There was a lot of them. So I'll go back, I'll do my homework. I'm sure you're gonna want comparables. I think that'd be great. Well, I think it's the perfect place for you. You both win, <laughs> which in the end means I win too. So we all win. <laughs> I guess so. Happy ending for everyone involved. Thank, Thank you, you so much. I'm excited about this one. I'm happy that Rob came through. I think they've made a great choice. This is a gorgeous lot, and I think it's perfect for a family with young kids. And I think they're gonna be really happy here. Perfect cottage for these buyers.